Hey guys, it's Drip, Drip, Drip 9 here back in for another video and today we're going to be going over my 100% honest thoughts on this latest update. So before we start, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and if you guys are just watching my videos, um, don't forget to subscribe as well because only 10% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. So I'd really appreciate you guys if you guys could hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, now let's get right into the review. So, Gail. So let's start with Gail here. Gale is the new newest brawler and he's he has a new rarity called chromatic he, he, his artwork is pretty good but I liked his artwork well what really struck me was his mechanics because his mechanics are like so different from anything else we have ever seen before inside of brawl stars so his gadget is like a spring pad where he like places that on a spring pad and it just stays there the entire match and you can like constantly use it like either team can use it and that completely changes the game so in heist people would just like spring had like onto the other team's safe and other stuff like that. And it's super, um, it pushes people back, but it also stuns them when it hits the wall. Not for long, but it stuns them. Interesting. But what I didn't like about him is that, of course, with almost every brawler that comes out, it's, I, I like high skill cap brawlers, but Gale's not a high skill cap brawler. His attack width is way too big. So it's amazingly easy to like hit shots and just auto fire. I don't really like that. And also there's, it's way too, it, um, deals way too little damage. The basic, basic attack does way too little damage. I don't have the exact numbers here with, with me right now, but uh, I've seen, I've played against him and I've played with Gale and it's way too little damage. But now let's go on to one of the biggest things in this update, with, which is the Brawl Pass and the quests that come with it. So what I liked about it, it's amazing value for everyone. Doesn't matter if you're free to play or you're a gemmer or you're a light to medium spender. Everyone benefits from the brawl pass so that's something i i think they did amazingly well like balanced everything out so props to the developer team for that and um yeah just like more rewards and quests quests were, were, were something that people were asking for for like the longest time um to have like incentive to play the game even when your account is maxed out and they added that but one thing i would um suggest is they add more quests because uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, you get like two easy quests plus a number of uh, uh, medium to hard quests. But that's only on one, on Tuesday and Thursday. But on the rest of the days, you only get two easy, um, two easy quests. And for me, that's way too little. Like that, for me, that's not enough incentive to play. And um, one thing that isn't just a big deal, but I'm just gonna say because these are my thoughts. Uh, I, I thought like it said in the brawl, um, in the brawl talk that. When we bought the pass, we would get Gale, but instead you have to advance 30, 30 tiers to get to it. Not a, such a big deal, but my thoughts. Um, and another thing that a lot of people were talking about, not just me, a whole bunch of other people, is that when you want to like uh, collect your rewards on the Brawl Pass, you have to do it in chronological order. Like if I want to get like a big box, but there's like a whole bunch of rewards before that big box, I have to get all those. Re I have to open up all those rewards before I can get to that big box. I feel like that's really bad i don't i don't think it's fair and yeah i wish they would, they would change that so you can choose like pick and choose whichever re reward you want to get because like for example i wanted to save up like boxes to so i can like upgrade gale when i got him to rank when i got to tier 30 and got him but instead i can only use like the free pass like the rewards because like the brawl pass rewards i have to open up all of them just to get gale in the first place so i find that really annoying but now let's go on to the Let's go on to a third thing that people were interested in, but not as much as the other two, which are pins. Like pins are like these tiny little emotes for every single brawler. And I think they look absolutely amazing. Like the art team or whoever made these, like they're absolutely amazing. I love them. Um, I like the variety that they have. Like there's a whole, there's, there's so many different like facial expressions for every single brawler. So I, I, I love that. And having some that can only be unlocked through the Brawl Pass, I also like that. But hopefully, like when they come into games, like into actual games that uh, you're playing in Brawl Stars, hopefully you can mute them and hopefully it has a cooldown time so people don't spam emotes. But if they have that, I think it is gonna be, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. But one thing that I did think of is that the screen is already kind of cluttered um, when you're playing. So adding emotes to the mix, will like provide you less room to see the actual enemy when you're playing that's i don't know if it, that's actually going to be the case but just just my thoughts again 
Now let's go on to balance changes. Okay, so they fixed Daryl's and Dinah's gadget, but they're both still useless. Like the only thing that they fixed is that they you, you can move while using it. They're both still useless. Hopefully they like change that in the future. But but the rest of the balance changes, I haven't like experienced much of it. So I can't say if they are good, bad, what needs to be fixed. Now let's go on to Hot Zone, okay? Hot Zone was that game mode that came out a while ago, and then they took it out, but now it's back, and it looks better, it improved, and it's way more fun to play it. Uh, well, not way more fun, but I just felt it's better, like, this time around. I, I don't really know why, because they didn't change that much. All that they changed is that on each point there's a flag you have to raise, one for each team, so blue and red. When you raise your flag all the way there, if there's like two points on that map, if you raise one flag, then you have to go to the other point and raise the other one to win the game. Um, and I, f I find that that I, I, I like that system. Like, it, it's really good for me. But for sometimes when I'm playing with randoms, um, they end up fighting over a zone. Like, uh, a zone that has already, like, been, like, the flag has already been risen. So there's no point in fighting over it. But they keep on fighting over it. And I lose games because of that. So I just m wish they would make it a bit more clear. And also, if you guys like Hot Zone, play it as much as you can so it can become permanent. Now I'll go on to one of my favorite parts of this update, which are skins. Like these skins, are, I think they're the best batch of skins that we have ever gotten in, inside of Brawl Stars. Like from my experience, of course. Like they look amazing. Like Rogue Mortis that just came out today at the time that I'm recording this looks absolutely amazing. Um, and then there's Guard Rico and then there's um, Beach Sprout, I think. And then there's also um, Evil Jean. Like they all look absolutely fire. They look amazing. And like they're good value as well. Like they aren't like 300 gems each, which I also like. So yeah, now um, there's just a, a background change because it's Tara's Bazaar um, for the, this season of Brawl Pass. So the background, like it just changed into like, kind of like this br light yellow and like purple. I think it looks really good, like nothing that I can complain about it. But yeah, that was like my honest review on this update. Um, I Overall, I think it's like one of the best updates that I've ever seen playing Brawl Stars. I know people were uh, very afraid uh, about the Brawl Pass because they were like, free to play your lives matter and like um, that it would be really bad for them. It would be amazing for jammers, but free to play players would suffer a lot. But instead they got like, they got amazing value even on the free one so again like i said before supercell did an amazing job and the brawl stars dev team did an amazing job like balancing all of that because it's still good for spenders for gemmers but it's also still good for free to play players so they balanced it out really well and of course for every update some things can be fixed or improved but that's that's part of um learning process so yeah i think like if i had to rate this like one out of five or like one out of ten out rated like if I had 10, I would rate it like a 9. And if it's like a 5, I would rate it out of like 4 or 5. Like, it, it's one of the best that I've ever seen. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It, as it really helped my channel. And don't forget to follow me on Omelet Arcade. Because I stream there every day at 3pm Mountain Daylight Time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, peace out.